becoming so successful, giving these guys a platform to get used to the, the big time, if you like. Now we have to wait and see if they can hold themselves together. Oh, you work very hard, I know, to, to, to bring the sport back to Vegas, to give it a real go. It's, what, eight years since uh, the, the last... Uh, of the Vegas Desert Classic events. Yeah, we've been we've been fortunate. We've got some big pals in America. David Hill, in particular, the ex-head of Sky, is a big hey, dance fan. He was instrumental in twisting my arm and saying, "Come hey, on, let's give it another crack." And and so far, the numbers, the crowd, the atmosphere is proving us right. But it's early stages on a long road to making darts a major sport in the USA. But it has to start somewhere. Is it a big hurdle to jump? Yeah, I, it is a big hurdle because darts in America is more of a pastime than a sport, you know, and these guys have got to be more professional. Um, you know, we're looking at a standard of darts here which, which would hold itself up on most floor events, you know, so there is the talent here, but they need the platform. Where our job is to give them the opportunity. Well, touching for not far short of 200 in the qualifiers on Tuesday and Wednesday, and, and you know, we, you can see how... Uh, how good the, the standard is well <laughs> it's very good indeed and wow, especially so because these guys have got no experience of this type of pressure you know it's got to be fascinating to watch tomorrow when the, the when the, the eight winners come through and take on a real elite of world darts then we'll see how much they've got to improve to be competitive yeah the u.s darts uh, masters starting on friday and there's the first world 18 and a world 18 from cameron and a 170 uh, finish for Michelle. We've already seen a, a 170 finish from Chris White. Brilliant in our opening quarterfinal. Uh, White against Richardson, the first semi-final. The winner of this will play the police officer from South Dakota, Willard Bruyere. And here, Cameron, her oh, two darts to break the throw. So Michelle, only 21 years of age, but John Park, fellow Canadian, Reckons this young man has a big future. He's taken the gamble. He's come over to the UK and played on the, the PDC Challenge Tour, the PDC uh, Development Tour as well, and has clearly improved his play. Let's see who, uh, who can win this opening leg. Double five. Yeah, Cameron against the darts. But a really good standard in that opening leg from... Uh, both Cameron and from Michelle, and just talking about the, the standard, Barry, the, the qualifiers, you know, the big names, the, the Canadian mm. pair of John Part and Jess Smith and, you know, the Americans, Larry Butler and yeah, Darren some Young. Some good players went out, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, Ken McDill from Canada as well. Yeah. I, I'm not surprised. They've been saying for some time there's a lot of talent underneath the radar in North Six America. Uh, and we had an opportunity to test them and see, and, and sure enough, People that have been, you know, Darren Young especially and Larry Butler, have been at the top of American darts for 20 years. Yeah, the flag bearers. Well, they are. And they did, they're not here. So that says it all. It shows that there is a healthy atmosphere in darts in North America. Now it's a question of can they go to the next level? Well, the big prize, of course, for the winner today here at the Tropicana in Las Vegas is that prize place. The first guaranteed place. Uh, at the World Championship from the overseas qualifiers. The winner goes to the oh, Alexandra Jesus. Palace and he pockets uh, $10,000 as well. Yeah, Barry was referring to events on Friday and Saturday. The next uh, World Series event as Michelle looks at a, a maximum and finds a maximum. A little standard. A young man averaging 100. He may have left a bogey, but he won't worry about that. Yeah, the likes of Van Gerwen, Anderson, Wright, and Barneveld, Wade, wow. Price, Gurney. <laughs> it's a tough Max field, Hoff. isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. a tough field. But there we are. You know, if they really want to make a living out of this game, if they want to change their life through darts, they have the opportunity. But if they're good enough, and the only way they'll find out is by playing the best in the world to find how far they've got to go. That's the whole point of World Series. It takes the game around the world, encouraging people to pick it up as a full-time, proper sport. And it's making huge progress. I mean, um, I couldn't be more pleased with it, Stuart, the way it's going. You know, the fact that we've got Shanghai, we know we're in New Zealand. We've, last year we were in Japan, now it's Vegas. There's a new event in Germany in October. This really is opening doors for darts across the world. Yeah, who'd have, who'd have thought it when we started out in Dubai in 2013? Tops here for Cameron to double his lead. So uh, a chance for uh, the young man from Canada. You feel we'll have to take this out. Losing the opening leg 
against the darts. Double 18. 58. David so tops here for Cameron, who won the last of the qualifiers yesterday to book his spot here. Double 10. Oh, Game last Charles dart in hand. Second. How important could Lady that Cameron. prove to be? He doubles his lead. Cameron uh, goes Game two on. up. It's looking like Cameron's experience is critical here. You know, he has a bit more time. Uh, young Marshall is <laughs> definitely a star of the future, but Cameron looks that little bit more assured. So we'll have to see if the young man can fight back. I suppose in many ways, if, if, if you can crack the American market, then, you know, it, it opens up so many doors. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, Europe has been a fantastic breeding ground for us, and the, the success of darts wouldn't be possible or where it is without Holland and Germany in particular. Eastern Europe's looking great, and Scandinavia's flying. We know Australia and Oceania is good. The two big markets for me to concentrate over the next few years will be the United States and China. And both of them can change the whole perception of a sport as we've seen with snooker in china it's just gone from one strength to another i think we can do the same with darts because there's no barriers to entry in this sport you pick up a game you know you pick up a set of darts you put a dartboard up in your bedroom or your garage and when you're good enough development tour or a q school wow. you have a natural route through to the chance of becoming a darts millionaire we were just talking about in shanghai a week ago the, the, the actual participation no, in, in that city alone, half a million people play yeah, yeah, darts yeah. As, a, as, as a hobby. And when you look at what Ding Jun Wei has done for, for snooker, you, you imagine well, what will happen I mean, if, if we, you could produce a, a Chinese dart star. It, it takes some time, of course, because it has to be in the culture. And to get there, you need activities and you need government support. And in China, when I think I first went to China in 82, it's, it's unbelievable what's happened in that country as far as that sport's concerned unbelievable and now of course it's in schools curriculums all over china and the top players are only millions and millions of pounds and quite right too because they're superstars darts can do exactly the same on the same model well, decent standard both averaging around 88 89 but dawson michelle here oh that's 15 for the ball you feel it's got to go. David Hasn't played badly, but Cameron has played really well, you have to say. Ten well, it's always going to be difficult. The first dart, friend or foe, it turned out to be foe. To get a leg on the board. Double eight. For the 21 year old. Big dart, big dart for Marshall, that. Yeah, indeed it was. The one thing about Dawson, you've got to say, he's got a fantastic nickname. Awesome Dawson. Dawson. That, 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 that rings bells, doesn't it? I think that's, uh, that's him worked out when he hits the real big stage on the TV majors, which I'm sure one day he will. Well, it's interesting. I mean, we talked about he, he, he played on the Challenge Tour, the development tour as well, back in the UK and in Germany. Uh, has already wow. reached a final, a semi-final and a quarter-final. I think yeah. by, by actually taking the gamble to, to go over to, to Europe to play, it's going to massively Im improve his game. Well, the one thing in sport you can't ever Easy. do is not take a chance. You know, if you're going to be, if you have the dream to be a top sportsman, you can't look over your shoulder 20 years down the road and say, I should have I given it my best shot. These guys are playing their own way and they're giving it their best shot. Not everyone will become a superstar, of course. But give yourself the chance, because otherwise you'll regret it the rest of your life. One. Well, I mentioned this is the fifth year of World Series darts. It all started in Dubai back in, in 2013 when Michael Van Gerwen won the very first tournament. Where do you One. see World Series being in another four or five years? I think we're going to look to uh, make a big announcement soon about opening a, a new company in China called PDC China. I think that will kick, kick start China development, liaising with the government on setting up various academies and things like that for kids to, to learn how to play. China is definitely my number one target, there's no question about that. But I've still got more, much more to do in Europe, you know, France, Spain, Portugal, they're all hotspots and 
we just need it. Unfortunately, God only gave us 365 yeah, days a year. And with uh, over 100 tournaments this year around the world, sanctioned events, uh, that's, it's difficult to fit much more in. So we, we, need to see, we need to see superstars coming in from different regions because that's the best advert you can have. You know, we talked about Germany. Max Hoff has, has made a difference in Germany. I think Martin Schindler, the young man that's playing now, he's, he's looking as if he's going to improve as well. Every Seven country needs more. their own heroes if you want to be a truable global Maybe sport. And we're on the way, but we're not there yet. Double ten for Cameron. Oh, now, this really is a, a key moment in this game. Three match darts, uh, three leg darts, rather, for 3-1, missed by Cameron. And uh, Michelle here, who was 2-0 down, has two darts at double eight to level up this final quarter-final. That's the difference, isn't it? At the very top end of the game, you've got to put those chances away. That's okay, that will come. He's just got to work, work and work and work. This is not definitely done yet, but it is now. It's that last darted hand, isn't it? It's made the difference so far. the experience, I think the extra experience Cameron's got. I like the way this young man throws, though. No, has no fear. No, and he takes his time on the hockey. He steadies himself before he goes for big shots. He's, it's just about putting the time in on the ball. He's got to be putting those six, seven hours in a day 59. to really move his game up so that he can be averaging over 100 instead of 82, 83. It's not enough to shake the big boys up yet. Merchelle, who comes from the, the oh, wonderfully named... Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Sixteen. Cameron from Halifax in Nova Scotia. They have a good crowd for the opening day. Remarkable for the North American Championships. I was expecting to see less people here today, and obviously the big crowds Friday and Saturday when the big boys come in. But we're packed, we're jammed. And it's great to see the local guys getting some support as well from their own people. Asking for another one. Had to be. And there's a second maximum for Cameron. He tried to take control of this fifth leg. I mean, importantly as well, you, it's television coverage, isn't it, in, in, in America? Yeah. And you have that support. Well, we have, fortunately, Fox on our side. We've got some good relationships with other U.S. broadcasters that are airing darts. And we, we get the feeling you've got some momentum, you know. And it's only important. If that's what you need, you need to get that ball rolling, people talking about it. And this is a, this is a good advert for the game, frankly. I mean, we're in Las Vegas. It's not a bad place to be. We've got the attention. I think 162 countries are taking this live around the world. It's a good start for us. 57. Those who require 86. Has to get this, you think. Got to hold on to his throw. Race to six to play Willard Bruyere in the semi-final. Yeah, he used that first dart really, really well. And stays in there despite a, another maximum from Cameron in that leg. I think it's important to realise this Marshall is 21 years old. I mean, you know where Michael Van Gerwen was actually going through a bad period in his middle, you know, around the 20s, wasn't he? Until he became a, a massive superstar. So these players can draw off someone like Van Gerwen. Look at someone who was close to even giving up the game, and now he's dominating the game. Well, if I'm, if I'm not, not mistaken, Barry, at 21, Van Gerwen was losing a PDC at Unicorn World Youth Final uh, at the 02 yep, in correct. London with an average of 80. Correct. Now, what happened? What happened? Did he suddenly wake up one morning as a better dart player? No, he was always a great player. He started to believe. He put in more work. He, put in, he was more dedicated. And then he saw the results, and of course, he got his own momentum. And as much as I think everyone in the world's a great, you know, the greatest players in the world, it's going to take something special to overcome Mighty Michael, isn't it? I think it's been said by a few, but I, I, certainly for me, 
Phil Taylor is the greatest ever. Of course, of course. Of course but of Michael course. Van Gerwen is the best that I've ever seen. Yes, I mean, Michael's taken the level of averages to another height, but he, <laughs> I think he's not going to go past the amazing record that, that Taylor has established over 30 years. But, you know, it's important when youngsters look at someone like Michael Van Gerwen, who's what... I don't know, he's going to be three or four million dollars earnings this year from playing darts. That would astonish a lot of people, especially in America, because they, they don't perhaps wow. have the perception of the quality of what darts as a sport has become. But Van Gerwen is saying to the kids out there, and Marshall's a good example, look, I can do it, why don't you? 16. But you've got to put the work in. Yeah, look at the bull first. Bullseye. 67. Shanghai, Shanghai from Marshall. Yes, this would be a nice one to uh, level it up at three all. And really to win this game, he's got to take out some finishes like this. Sixty. So for four, two, five for double ten. Yep, that's the way he likes to go. The James Wade way. But not the James Wade finish. So what an opportunity again for young Dawson Merschel to level up this quarterfinal. He got in as the last qualifier. By his fingernails he got here. Can he make the most of it? Double ten. Oh. In off the post, but it's three apiece. Massive, massively for young Marshall. Massively. Now, does he, does he feed off that? Does he get himself in the winning mentality? I like the look of this young man. He's, yep. he's got a very smooth throw. Doesn't seem to be flustered. Perhaps a little bit too much body movement on throw, but that's something he can work on. <laughs> And handling the big stage extremely well. It has to be said, I'm pleasantly surprised. You know, both averaging in the 80s. It's not record-breaking stuff, but you have to keep it in, in perspective, don't you? You know, these guys are coming onto a stage the like of which they've never played on in their career. They know they're on TV around the world. Nine they've got their friends and families tuning into Fox tonight to watch it. So it's, it's tough on them, but they're delivering. Impressive stuff. The World Series now is, is just vibrant, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's great because the top players are not spoiled One. sport, if you like to think of it in other sporting terms. They're, they're grateful they're getting the chance. They're changing their lives, but they're also putting in the work and putting in the effort. 16. I mean, last night at the reception, you know, the, the eight guys were there. I estimated they signed 500 autographs each. They were there for hours, and they were happy to be there because they're spreading the game and they're enjoying being famous. 64. You know, it's nice. It's great. And you're in. You can earn a living doing something you love. You're the luckiest man in the world, aren't you? Two nil down. One um, Bidding here to go ahead for the first time. This will be a, a third consecutive leg for Michelle. What a good dart. Fabulous, fabulous for the young man. Three legs on the spin. No, he's loving it now, Michelle, yeah. isn't he? He's loving it. And his next problem will be when he sees the winning line. Does he go up to it or does he go through it? Then we'll find out what type of finisher he is. We're talking of young darts players. You've given Gerwin Price and Daryl Gurney and, and Max Hopp. Wow. The opportunity in World Series so far this year. You've got another choice to make for uh, for Australia and New Zealand after the yep. match play. And you, and you have Germany as well to come in October before the finals. As Cameron hits a wow. crucial third. Wow. Wow. To, wow. So presumably you thinking of giving others a chance? Well, I think we've got to because otherwise the top, the top eight players playing each other all the time they'll move away wow. from the field automatically because the experience of playing with the best all the time is, is so good for you we need to spread world series we need to spread probably premier league as well to give other people the platform to say 
the door is open. Now, we'll open the door, but have you got the ability to go through into the next room, if you like? Gerwin Price, I think, and Daryl Gurney, especially this year, have been very successful on floor tournaments. Gerwin Price, of course, runner-up in the UK Open, so, you know, he's, he's had a major final. They need to know that success will be rewarded, and it's not just going to be held back for the old-timers, if you like. I suppose a good example of that, Michael Smith, a welcome return to form for him over the last two or three months, and his reward is totally. you've picked him for Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, you've got, to be, you've got to be fair, you've got to be open. I think, you know, we live in, the, in, a, in a sport of opportunity, so let's not close the door to new faces. Let's spread the gospel, but also One. encourage people around the world to let them know it is possible to change your life. I think we're doing most things right. We'll never get it all right, but these, these guys are worth it. And Cameron decides that he doesn't want to just be uh, one of the number. He, well, he had to, to get that right. He had to. Barry Hearn, the chairman of the PDC, uh, with us on commentary in this final quarter final, and uh, turning out to be. A pick of the round mm. could go the distance. This I think, as well, perhaps about, about trying to create real darting characters and, and heroes that you know that the supporters can, can identify with. I think you know all sport is personality led as well and being good is essential but being famous is almost as essential there's no kidding us Why in the not? world we live we live in a world of reality tv and we need to create superstars we've been blessed to have darts players that have come from normal working class background most of them and they are characters in their own right and the crowd can associate with them because they look as if they're the bloke that lives around the corner and that's not to t detract from their superstar wow, status, wow. it actually means that they're embraced as one of their own. We, we've, all sport needs characters. We've got them in abundance in dolls. In abundance. One. Well, that'll do nicely to leave 64 after 12. Decent standard, I reckon. 85 average each, but... Uh, when you put it into perspective, without doubt, the best game we've seen so far. And the double. 32. He knows he'll be back to go ahead 5-4 in a race to six for a place in the semi-finals and a, a step closer to the big prize of clinching a place at the 89. World Championship at the Alexandra Palace. 32. This is a massive three darts for this young man. Oh, yes. Only needs one. I took the words from the house of my mouth and was showing a, a lot of character. Cool as you like. Dawson Michelle, 21 year old Canadian. Hopefully, wow, with a big future wow. ahead. Cameron now, 47 year old Canadian, desperate to take this into a deciding leg. And Marshall, of course, will have the arts in wow. the deciding leg should it go to it. Won four out of the last five legs, the youngster. Great response. Oh. Wonderful yeah. response from Cameron. A fourth oh, accident. You picked a good one. I tell you, I think I've been very fortunate. This is a quality game of darts. Then both of them not far off a 90 average. It's looking as if it, it's looking as if it's going to go five all. Goodness me, this should be pay per view. It shouldn't just be available <laughs> on free TV. Goodness me, steady on. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's get carried away. Absolutely, thoroughly enjoyable quarter final. The first semi final will be between Chris White and Dave Richardson. William Bouyer, a cop from South Dakota, awaits the winner in the second semi-final. Yeah, so you won't be enjoying those two. <laughs> 20. David it looks like a decider. Topsy needs. 62. Well, can there be any pressure from 
Michelle. Eighty-six. So double ten to take us the distance. Well, we are going to a deciding leg. You have your wish. Thank you, Stuart. Yeah, I mean, uh, for my only ever visit into the commentary box in my entire time as chairman of the PDC, you picked me the game of the round. No question for which I thank you. This is going to be fascinating to see how this young man holds up to what is now, without doubt, the biggest leg of darts he's probably ever played. Brilliant start. Great reaction from the crowd as well knowing exactly what this means and we love a bit of celebration a bit of reaction heart on the sleeve from the 21 year old what's his opponent got to offer 60. only 60 advantage dawson michelle awesome dawson is he closing in on the semi-finals nice. doing the right things absolutely but not such an awesome dart for the first of to drop it down into that lower regions of the five not good he's got to steady himself now 43. pressure on both immense with so much at stake well you can see it can't you it's 17. one treble per throw they'd bite your hand off for that at the moment but still advantage Marshall. Yes. Well, the treble he wants, it wasn't the treble one, that's for sure. This is going to go, this is going to be a test of nerves more than even how good a dart player. Yeah. Well, Cameron has one. the experience of the big stage. Will it come to bear in this deciding leg? Big visit now for Merchell. Plenty of bottle there. I think the crowd favourites young Michelle, but the experience is with Cameron as we're seeing. Well, what a finish to what's been a, a superb match. All credit to both players. They've, they've really turned it on for this crowd. Well, great dart. Well, he was unlucky there. It just took a little kiss off the barrel, which took it out of the oh. treble. May switch anyway. Well, oh. oh, how about that? It's now or never for Mr. Cameron. Oh, here he He missed the big number. He missed the 16 to leave the ball. And that is pressure. So, for the match and a place in the semi finals, the 21 year old from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. It's in your hands. Oh, what a great match. What a great match. Thank you, Stuart. That was fabulous. And this young boy, he has some potential. Let me work ahead of him, but that was the biggest game of his life. And he's through to the semi finals. Barry Hearn, the chairman of the PDC, our thanks to him. Terrific match. What a win for young Dawson Michelle. We'll see him later. Coming up next, the first semi final between Chris White. And Dave Richardson.